everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's video is inspired by the Harvest Moon. I'm finally going to be using my big canvas that I got like last year in August so it's about time that I use it. So as you can just see here I'm just unwrapping it and it is a lot bigger than I'm used to working with. I tend to do things around about A3 um, detailed or smaller like I don't really tend to go any bigger than that. But obviously this is a lot bigger so I wanted to try and keep the design as simple as possible and that meant keeping the background kind of a very simple moon with the trees and the peacock being the more detailed centre point. A few reasons why I picked peacock, um, the colouring of the peacock obviously will be blue and greens and things like that so that would contrast with like the brightness of the yellow moon and also it would look quite nice with the like very dark blue sky that it's going to be but obviously um, I wanted to do a peacock because we actually have peacocks where I live and we have loads of actual peacock feathers and I've been collecting them so I thought it would be quite nice to use them in the piece and make the piece a little bit more 3D and make it stand out. I am intending this piece this, this beast, this piece to be for my brother um, as a Christmas present so it is going to have a few kind of flourishes to it at the end but the main um, kind of like idea for this is the harvest moon and I just think it's going to look really good once I get everything down and how I'm expecting it to look if that makes sense. Like, I, there's going to be elements in this that I haven't done before. So, as you can just see, I'm just sketching it out. And I'm just going to keep the peacock very simple in the initial sketch. Just because I can just work on the background stuff first. And then, once I've done that, then I can go in and add some more details to the peacock before I start painting. But that's not really my main concern at the moment. I just want to get the positioning of all the different elements in place. And as you can see here, I'm going in with cardboard. Now, I wanted to make the trees stand out because I'm going to be having the feathers stand out and the peacock is kind of going to be in front of the feathers, in front of the feathers, in front of the trees with all the feathers. Um, so I'm going to be using a lot of hot glue and I mean, I, mean I, I use a lot of it and there wasn't really any technique to this because I've never really done this before. I just decided to layer more glue and more cardboard until I felt like it was enough that it stood out of the piece and that I had a good kind of like positioning to work with because I wasn't going to leave just the cardboard bare. I felt like that would look very, very messy and untidy, especially when you try to paint. If you've ever tried to paint on top of cardboard, it just, it doesn't look very nice and you need to really go over the top of it with something to smoothen it out or at least add the desired texture that you're going for. So as you can see here, I'm still applying cardboard. This was a very lengthy process and once it was done, I, I really did like the trees as they were, but because I was going to paint on them, I did think it'd be better if I just went in with a couple layers of paper mache and added a very smooth coat over the top. Once that was dry, it did definitely look like the piece was going to come together how I was intending it to and I was really really excited to do this. Like this probably has been one of my most like exciting pieces that I've done recently and I really love it when you get into doing a piece of artwork and you just want to wake up in the morning and do it and that's really what I was like for days. Like I was just so excited to do this piece and once it was finished I was so so happy. So I did have to let these dry. Um, I think I left them about 12 hours. I think I finished painting them very, very late in the morning, like early hours of the morning. And then it was like afternoon when I got back into painting this because I needed to let them completely dry. But like I said, I was trying to keep it very, very simple. So I thought I'd start with the background first and do the big old moon in a kind of Naples yellow and the background a very dark and midnight blue. And then the trees, just a very simple kind of burnt umber and raw umber kind of blended together and adding a little bit of kind of um, a yellow ochre round where the branches would be met by the moon. So as you can see, I started painting the, um, the peacock here. I didn't use a reference for this, which I don't know if that was a mistake. I think it looks 
like a peacock. I was really really happy with it to be honest and the final element was adding all of these feathers. I remember adding the feathers at like 3am in the morning like it was really really late when I was doing this and I did notice that the feathers just kind of pointed out so I added some paper mache at the top of where the peacock feathers met the peacock painting and just let that dry and obviously they were cut in feather shapes so they kind of let the smaller feathers coming out and it like blended a lot nicer so I just had to paint on top of those once they were dry and I just trimmed the edges off and I actually decided to bring the trees in front of the feathers because the edges just looked a little bit too sparse and just they weren't full enough to look like the peacock was in front. And the trees definitely did stand out more than the peacock feathers, that's probably because of the amount of cardboard that I put down. But as you can see here, I was really really happy with the way it all blended with the extra paper mache. And even though I didn't use a reference for this, I definitely think it does look like a peacock. I'm very happy with it. And I just love the way that the like the branches just frame the peacock and the moon stands out. Because obviously this piece was inspired by the harvest moon. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy with it. So like I said, obviously this piece was intended for my brother. So as you can see, I added a bunch of leaves to it. All of the leaves have writing on, if you can see. And I basically picked out a selection of different Terry Pratchett distinct world novels. Um, kind of like the blurbs from the back. And I picked out the ones that were certain colours that I wanted for this piece. And I basically cut out the blurbs and that is what the little leaves all are. So yeah, I'm super, super happy with this piece. I love the way it turned out. It's definitely been one of my favourite pieces that I've ever created. I just, I love it so much. It was such fun using all these different techniques and things. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Please leave some video suggestions if you guys would like to see me do something else. And please stay safe and Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Again. Alright, bye. <laughs>